Welcome to everybody to our um, Learn Quranic Arabic class. This will be the first class to all those people who are trying to learn Arabic and they are a little bit familiar but not completely familiar with the words and alphabets. So if you see here we will begin with Arabic alphabets. How many alphabets are there in Arabic? The generally around 28 but if you see it Hamza, Alif, A uh, here I have put everything in one category so some people say 28, 29 but we won't debate so we have here 28 to 29 letters what are these? normally we say Alif or A, uh, Ba, Ta, Tha, Jim, Ha, Kha, Dal, Dal, Ra, Zay, Sin, Shin, Son, Dod, Ta, Za, Ain, Rain, Fa, Qaf, Kaf, Lam, Mim, Noon, Ha, Wow, Yeah. So these are the Arabic letters. There is another uh, set of letters which are very, very similar, especially in uh, India, Pakistan, and in Arabic Urdu language, which we have uh, letters here. You can see. In Urdu, there are about approximately 38 to 39 letters. There are certain more letters which have been added to the script of Urdu, which you don't find in Arabic, which we don't pronounce at all. So, what are those letters? These are those letters like Pa, Ta, Chim, Dal, Da, Ja, Ga, Ye. So, these are the letters which are not there in Arabic, which are not pronounced at all. And rest of the words are there. And certain word pronunciations are also different. For example, for Zwad, in Urdu it's called Zwad, but in Arabic it's called Dod. There's a lot of difference between Zwad and Dod. So we have to practice that. And this is Zwa and Dod. And this is Zal and this is Zal, Dod and Zwa. So different sounds, different meanings, different words. So we have to practice on that. So coming to Arabic alphabets, so we got 28 alphabets. So out of these 28 alphabets, Arabic is written in a like a cursive writing, it's a running writing where everything is joined together when we write. However, there are certain words when they come, you cannot join. The word has to stop there and the next letter has to be written separately. So these letters in English, what we call it as naughty letters where when they come in a word everything stops they act like a full stop but it's not a full stop it's just that the, the no letter can be joined after them so what are those letters those letters are here it's called wow za ra dal dal and alif if you see here for examples you see a wow it doesn't attach anything it is written separately wajada zara a but if you see here, ha, ya, mean, they all join together. But anything, when ra comes, it stops. Rahim, ghadab, dal is not attached to ba, it is written separately. Dal is not attached to ba, it is written separately. So those are called naughty letters, which you need to remember. So how do you write these letters? You see here, so each letter will have a different shape when they come in the beginning of a word when they come in the middle of the word when the word is ending with that letter so this is how they are joined together so every all the letters can be joined in this fashion so each letter has its own shape but when it comes to those naughty letters if you see which have been marked on the red they're written separately they can be attached to word behind them but in front of them you cannot join any letters. So the letter has to begin separately so this is just uh, to give an overview how the letters are written. So you need to practice. If you not have the practice of writing Arabic, write a lot, practice yourself. Inshallah, it is very, very easy. So we got wow here, which is written separately. So no letter can be joined after it. Before it, it's definitely letter can be joined, but not after it. So when these letters, like for example, we said not in letters, and all these letters also behave a little bit different when they come with a one particular word which is most commonly used in Arabic 
and that word is called al it is called al the definite article so when this al attached to any word that word becomes a definite it becomes that specific for example if i say kitabun it's any book but if you say al kitab it becomes definite a specific book so it can be is called a definite article so however when this al it can be attached to all the letters so any letters which can begin with any any word can begin with any letter so some letters behave slightly differently when al is attached to them okay so what i try to call is we got a silent l for example in english we got for example talking we say talking but when you write we write l tall king but we don't pronounce l exactly the same way here we got silent lam the lam is not produced the sound of lam is not produced for example i've given here when you write shams and you have al so when you combine the shams means sun and al means the sun so if you see here when al comes with shams the sound of lam becomes silent it becomes ashams so what happens is the al is written it becomes silent and the sound of sheen is doubled so it's ashams the so two times it's a compensation and there are certain letters called we have active l okay so here the sound of lam is pronounced for example we have kamar and we got this definite article al kamar means moon so when you get al plus kamar it becomes al kamar so the whole all the letters are pronounced clearly al kamar whereas in previous if you see ashams the lam is not produced so what are those words in which the lam becomes silent and what are those words which becomes lam is active these words are called huruf shams and huruf al kamar and these are the letters which are the sun letters you see bright yellow is the sign of sun so these are the sun letters and if you see here all these letters very easy way to remember is you don't have to memorize is any letter which is pronounced by bringing your tip of your tongue just near the tip of the tongue in front or behind it for example ta sa dal dal ra za seen sheen son don to za lam noon if you see all the letters are pronounced by bringing your tip of your tongue to you, uh front of your teeth just in that area the reason why it is so is because even the word lam is pronounced the same area so it will be difficult to pronounce to move your tongue immediately in the same place two times so it will be difficult to say al ta al za al ra so that's why to make it phonetically more easy the lam is silenced and the word is doubled that is called huruf ish shams and the rest of the words are huruf al qamar for example here we got al abu and we got at tajir so this is a huruf ish shams and this is a huruf al qamar al babu as thawb al janna ad diku so if you see the word is doubled and here the word is single and pronounced completely so these are the things which we need to remember and try and practice inshallah and inshallah we'll continue in the next lesson assalamu alaikum wa